What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing 8 bit and a superhero hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. This is our new series for this month, taking down a big combination, a lot like this one, and breaking down the small judges parts so that at the end of four weeks this month, at the end of the month, you'll be able to do the whole combination all on your own. Now, of course, this month is going to be commas. Commas are awesome, and I've gotten a couple requests for them recently, so it just makes it great that this month is going to be, you know, that's, a, that's what we're doing this month. But before we actually break into the combination, I do one thing that's kind of difficult to learn throughout this entire combination quite a lot. And so before we get into the combination, we're gonna teach you the finger roll. Now for the full combination, you will need two commas. And if you're interested in getting a set of commas like these or even foam or rubber ones, which are a lot safer to use, not that this will cut you, but they're a lot safer to use, I'll have links down below. But when you finally have your set of commas to practice with, you actually only need one for this episode right here. Just one. Like I said before, we're going over our finger spin or a finger roll whichever you want to call it it's, honestly i've heard it been called both but it can be tricky and we do three different types of finger rolls throughout this uh combination so i'm going to show you all three of them first let's start off with your grip you're going to want to hold roughly the middle of your comma where if you would open your hand it won't fall if you were holding too low it'll fall if you're holding too high it'll fall you want to be whoop, there we go so that you are holding the middle and the weight is actually balanced right about where your uh in between where your like your pointer finger and middle finger sit so right in that spot right there and your finger roll specifically is going to be going around your index finger so keep that in mind now you can go blade down but our finger roll is going to be blade up for all of these so for the basic all you're going to do is you're going to straighten and release with the other three fingers as you put momentum into your comma to get it to spin on this axis right here again blade up and back this rotation once you put the momentum into it you're actually going to push it around your finger and as soon as the blade passes you grab onto your handle now this is a very momentum based trick and so it's important to get momentum in your your rotation when you start doing your spin and which is why it's really hard to do in slow motion so that's why if i do slow motion it's literally slowing down the camera not me doing this slowly because you can't now this is the basic one it's off it's just straight up and down nice and simple so the next one is actually going to be palm up now this does not spin on your hand it's kind of difficult to be able to do it when it's with it spinning on your hand so instead you're doing the same motion except you're turning your hand sideways and doing it sideways as opposed to up and down if that makes sense hopefully that makes sense because that's the only way i know how to explain it but here we go and of course questions are what the comments are for so if you have any questions you know just uh ask me now this is the second of the finger rolls that you're going to want to get <laughs> nunchuck, nunchucks are dangerous they'll, they'll, they'll get you they will get you and for our third variant of the finger roll what you're going to do is instead of facing your palm palm up you're going to face your palm downward towards the ground for this one again it's the same movement right using momentum to put into that roll but you're going to be instead of going up and down side to side with your palm facing the ground now for this one one thing you're going to want to note is obviously it's going to start to fall a little bit when you do this trick so keeping your finger attached to your comma is important if you have to lower you know at first that's okay and eventually you can start putting a little bit of upward momentum into the trick in the beginning so that it stays connected to your finger the whole time and by putting upward momentum in the beginning i mean literally starting lower and going into the toss 
grades just slightly. Basically that allows you to simulate it just going across a little bit easier rather than chasing it and falling down with your comma as it drops. But yeah, this is going to be a much shorter version of the, of the other episodes are full like combination tutorials, but this one's a little bit shorter just because I wanted to make sure you guys got this trick nice and down because it definitely shows up in pretty much every segment of the rest of the tutorial series. So if you're interested, make sure you check out the next episodes because they're gonna be awesome. And of course, check out the merch made by my lovely wife. She put the whole site together and links down below if you're interested. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.